Hello and welcome to another episode of Beyond the Score, the podcast that brings you the views and opinions of those in the news brought to you by Khelnao. I am your host Ashish Negi. Today's guest needs no introduction. He became the first Indian to play in European top division league. He became the first Indian to captain the European top division club and he also became the first Indian to play in UEFA Europa League during his stint with Norwegian club Stabæk FC. He has also emerged as the man friday for his both club and country on countless occasion the last line defense for bengaluru fc and indian national football team it's a warm welcome to arjuna awardi gurpreet singh sandhu hi gurpreet how are you doing bye thank you so much for that amazing welcome such good lines made me feel good <laughs> uh, thank you so much uh, and uh, it's an honor to be a part of uh, this show i have been following up uh, what you have done before and i wanted to be a part of it and uh, you know talk about things uh, you were telling me that you are listening to some of some of the episode we have just three so how, did you like those episode till now i did i did i was very disappointed at first that it's uh, audio but later on when you put up the video then i was happier then i was like okay now this is interesting so i watched uh, the video as well and it was uh, very eye catching so to the our listeners and viewers uh, pardon us if in between we both switch to hindi or punjabi so we both have been talking for very long so ye flexibility honi chahiye ha to thoda sa aap matlab jo non hindi ya punjabi speakers hai thoda sa adjust karne ki koshish karna matlab especially for this episode na to we maintain that english thing so gurpreet we heard about you know your early life uh, uh, and we have we have also given some interviews to us so many people knows that how you started as a cricketer so there is a story of ms dhoni from football goalkeeper to cricket wicket keeper which many people talked about uh, in last 10 years during his stint in the indian cricket team but uh, not many people know that you were the uh, school uh, wicket keeper and then because of height and everything coach said that you should try your luck in football so can you tell us the influence of cricket in your life can you start it as a sports person actually the thing is everyone loves cricket in our nation my family does too my father does too uh, he's a huge cricket fan he wanted to be a cricketer as well when he was a kid um, he was a good uh, player very uh, very good at all round you know activities in the in the cricket field and uh, uh, unfortunately he couldn't pursue his uh, dream you know at that time it's it's uh, something that parents didn't support you know like are tu padhai kar le isse acha bhai khel mat you know that's the kind of uh, thing that he got and he made sure that you know i didn't get the same kind of reply to unhone matlab meri sporting activity dekh ke mujhe bola ki yaar mere dost ki ek academy hai idhar in the pca stadium in mohali ki udhar leke chalta hu tere ko theek hai meri jaan pehchan hai so we went there and uh, they are like hanji lay off no problem uh, bring him every day and uh, let's see you know how he does and stuff like that theek okay? hai and i i was more than happy i got all the equipment i got my bat pad sab sab kuch aa gaya matlab and uh, the first two three days you know they they asked us to you know run around the pitch when you start the day like and i was like yaar bhai ha ki bhai cricket kab khelni hai बैटिंग कब दोगे बॉलिंग कब करनी है ठीक है अकेली फील्डिंग ही हो रही है बैटिंग भी नहीं हो रही है एंड आई आई गॉट रियली फ्रस्ट्रेटेड बिकॉज ऑफ दैट एंड आई वाज लाइक आई डोंट वांट टू प्ले क्रिकेट यार आई मीन इफ दे आर आस्किंग अस टू ओनली रन अराउंड द पिच एंड स्टफ लाइक दैट एंड नॉट गिविंग अपॉर्चुनिटीज टू डू दिस एंड दैट लाइक आई वाज नाइव एंड नॉट थिंकिंग एज अ किड सो आई क्विकली चेंजड फ्रॉम क्रिकेट टू वॉलीबॉल इन स्कूल तो स्कूल में हम लोग वॉलीबॉल खेलते थे टीम के लिए तो वहां पे भी थोड़ा बहुत इधर उधर क्लास बंक करने के लिए वॉलीबॉल सेशन एंड दिस एंड दैट बिफोर स्कूल बट इन स्कूल आई आई हैड अ रेस अपेरेंटली जो क्लास की रेस होती है पीटी सेशन में हाँ. तो उसमें मैं हम पता नहीं कैसे गॉड का मेरिकल में फर्स्ट आ गया एंड <laughs> uh, and yeah hamare jo physical uh, education ke teacher hai he was also up, up and coming coach of the academy mr surinder singh you know yeah you know, he worked and in- uh, yeah yeah and 
he spotted uh, me and he was like bring me a diary i'll write something and show it to your parents so he wrote in the diary that uh, we have a you know football academy this and that saint stephen's football academy uh, if you want your kid to join please bring him here this day this time and stuff like that and they were like yeah for sure kyunki parents ki mentality hai ki agar padhai mein zyada bright nahi hai to sports kote mein kuch kuch ho jayega and that's why you know they pushed uh, me to you know go as well and play and i, I like football from the day one i i started to train you know it was very interesting sabko apni ek ek ball milti hai juggle karna hai sab kuch karna hai so i was very happy and that's how the journey to football started and uh, at least aapko matlab uh, you are involved in the game so i was cr- school cricket team captain so i know the struggle you are saying of taking five rounds of 400 meter ground then do sprint then do physical exercise and then move to the fielding and then batting and bowling later on so before we move ahead you have talked about the academy called st stephens you know not many people know about the role of this academy i think anurudh thapa also came from the same academy uh, there are various footballers yeah. who have played in isl and i league who have come from this academy not many people talked about it you know we have various academy where which people speak when you talk about football academy in india so kya thoda sa bata sakte hain yeah. st stephen how important role st stephen played in your life and other indian footballers like thapa and all who's playing right now yeah st stephen's football academy at one time was uh, one of the best academies in in punjab in chandigarh and uh, chandigarh mein ek thi chandigarh football academy which was uh, you know founded by and was run by uh, the football association and uh, sai chandigarh government side se and uh, saint stephen football academy was private school football academy wo oh, hamare jo principal the unka bada passion tha football mein kyunki uh, originally he is from england and he likes football so uh, he started this academy and when i joined we had so many good players and it's a shame that uh, not all of them most of them uh, couldn't uh, you know pursue their careers in football because they were extremely talented by uh, we had uh, 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 academy legend aitaram he played for you know uh, the indian uh, indian under i think 14 under 13 team and us time matlab aise lagta tha ki india team ke liye khele hain under 13 ya under 14 koi bhi level ho uski bahut badi baat hoti hai ha india khela hai wo sab log pehla matlab india khela hai ha india khela hai theek hai india ki jersey pehni hoti thi adidas us time sponsor tha mere khayal se to you know we had players like this and uh, the football culture was like amazing man uh, over there and uh, as i said you know it's it's sad that uh, there are so many names that uh, couldn't pursue the career in football because they were supremely talented i am like this much in front of them they were that talented and uh, yeah they they helped uh, from discipline and a lot of uh, good things in a lot of kids jo matlab bahar se aate the hostel mein rehte the you know we had kids coming from manipur northeast yeah. punjab ke gaon gaon se ladke aate the football khelne aur school mein padhne तो बहुत सारे बच्चों की मतलब लाइफ सेटअप की है उस एकेडमी ने एंड इट्स इट्स समथिंग इट्स समथिंग दैट आई कांट फॉरगेट एंड आई कांट रीपे सेंट स्टीवेंस फुटबॉल एकेडमी फॉर व्हाट दे हैव डन फॉर मी एंड काउंटलेस अदर्स यू नो हेल्पिंग प्लेयर्स यू नो फॉर्म एंड ग्रो अप इन लाइफ ओके सो देन how you came outside punjab you know and made the journey towards professional football or foot, uh, professional football can you tell something about that actually meri koi matlab ummeed nahi thi us time pe as a kid as a 12 year old 13 year old aapke aapke aim hai jo thode chote chote hi hote hain ki yaar pehle state level khel le theek hai state level se aap fir national level jayenge वहां से आगे से आगे इफ इट हैपेंस हैपेंस यू नो दैट वाज द ड्रीम यू नो प्लेइंग चंडीगढ़ रिप्रेजेंट करना है ठीक है पहले तो चंडीगढ़ से फिर स्टेट लेवल में जाना है स्टेट लेवल में फिर आगे जाके क्या पता संतोष ट्रॉफी खेलने को मिल जाए बिकॉज एट दैट टाइम ऑनेस्टली अंटिल फिफ्टीन ईयर्स ओल्ड आई डिट वॉच फुटबॉल एट ऑल ठीक है हमारे घर में 
अगर चलती थी एक्सपोर्ट्स तो वो क्रिकेट ही थी उस टाइम पता ही नहीं था कि ईपीएल होती है या प्रीमियर लीग होती है या आई लीग होती है पता नहीं था कुछ भी एंड आई थिंक आई वॉज वेरी फॉर्चुनेट एट वन पॉइंट वेर दे वॉज नो अदर कीपर अवेलेबल इन माई एज ग्रुप बिकॉज किसी का एग्जाम है किसी को बुखार है and this and that i got selected then because i am the only option so i played school nationals in sonipat and uh, from there the transition happened i played for uh, chandigarh state uh, in the i think north zone uh, tournament in haldwani and wahan pe hum log north zone jeete penalties ke through i i got to save one penalty and uh, we played against uh, very good teams you know we played played against haryana as well manandeep was uh, there in that team and from there onwards uh, we i think played in uh, chennai at that time in chennai i think it was 2006 or something like that in 2006 we traveled to chennai to play the all india nationals तो हम लोग मतलब सबको फेस किया उधर मिजोराम मणिपुर सबसे मतलब गोल खाए लगातार ऐसे सात आठ चंडीगढ़ इज नॉट दैट नॉट दैट गुड एंड ओवर देयर फॉर्चुनेटली तन्मय तन्मय सर एंड आई थिंक कॉलिन सर वाज आल्सो देयर फॉर वन डे ओके कॉलिन टॉप हाँ फॉर्मर इंडिया नाइनटीन कोच हाँ सो ही आई थिंक सो मी एंड he must have given my name to tanmay sir because tanmay sir is also a goalkeeper coach uh at that time us time motivation ye ye hoti thi ki agar aap match khelne ja rahe ho to pata hai ki india team ka selector baitha hua hai koi scout baitha hua hai ha ha so you need to play well and bhai main kha raha hu sat goal aat goal che goal <laughs> mere ko to hai hi nahi matlab koi chance hi nahi hai that's that's what, what i thought you know like pack your bags you're going back theek <laughs> hai but uh last day after the game we go to uh the coach's uh, room and wahan pe wo log list hai unke paas ki ye ye player camp mein naam aaya hmm to us time mereko unhone bataya ki mera bhi naam aaya and i i basically had no idea then ki bhai camp bhi hota hai national team bhi hai this and that i just got to know that i i i am going to play for india and that's how uh, i got into the junior national teams then i played the under 16s under 17s and 19s and that was the period where i really uh, got educated about indian football about uh, international football about uh, all the leagues which are played around the world because in that setup we used to watch games uh, on television together in a dorm room ek television hota tha aur कोई भी मैच आता है सब लोग एक साथ बैठ के मैच देखते हैं दैट्स व्हेन आई यू नो नो सो फॉर 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 द द फर्स्ट फर्स्ट टाइम टाइम एंड आई ट्रेनिंग इन गोवा वाचिंग सुभाषीष अरिंदम भाई ऑल दीज प्लेयर्स यू नो ट्रेन गेटिंग इन टू प्रोफेशनल फुटबॉल जस्ट फॉर यूज एंड लिस्नर्स आप बता सकते हैं किस साल की बात है मतलब टू गिव आइडिया कि ये दिस इज स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम 2007 2007 सो आई वाज अंडर 16 वी मेट इन गुजरात फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम आई थिंक अराउंड 40 50 प्लेयर्स एंड वी वर टोल्ड कि 40 50 प्लेयर्स विल बी स्लैश्ड इनटू 30 और 28 प्लेयर्स and then taken to goa at that Sorry. time uh, time aff ki academy hoti thi night academy uh, the football house in uh, goa opposite fatorda stadium hmm sai ka academy yeah newly over there and uh, we were the first ones basically hmm. to to go there and uh, wahan se the professional idea and the knowledge happened So, अभी आपने मतलब यू टॉक्ट अबाउट कि कैसे क्रिकेट से आप फुटबॉल में आए तो मेरा एक इंटरेस्टिंग सवाल है क्या गोलकीपर आप सिर्फ इसलिए बने कि इतनी हाइट अच्छी थी बाकी बच्चों से मेरे पास कोई चॉइस नहीं थी एक्चुअली व्हेन आई स्टार्टेड आई हैड नो चॉइस आई डिडंट नो व्हाट अ लेफ्ट बैक इज आई डिडंट नो व्हाट अ राइट बैक इज ठीक है 
इन दैट टाइम यू ओनली नो कि गोल बचाना है और गोल मारना है तो मेरा काम क्या है भाई बचाना है बिकॉज माई हाइट इज बेटर देन दी अदर किड्स एंड आई एम नॉट वेरी गुड विद माई फीट सो दैट्स आई थिंक द रीजन आई वॉज प्लेस्ड एज अ गोल कीपर ये आपका खुद का डिसीजन था या कोच ने डिसीजन लिया था किसी ने जिसने मेरा कोई डिसीजन ही नहीं था यार आई मीन द कोच इज समवन हु नोज मोर अबाउट फुटबॉल एंड ही थॉट दैट आई एम बेटर ऑफ एज अ गोल कीपर देन यू नो समवेयर इन फ्रंट और एट द बैक सो यू मूव इनटू एफएफ सेटअप व्हिच वाज द एफएफ एकेडमी इन गोवा एंड यू टॉक्ड अबाउट कोलम टोल हु वाज द कोच फॉर मेनी इयर्स फॉर इंडिया अंडर यूथ टीम्स स्पेशली अंडर 19 at the same time bob horton was there with the senior team so now can you just uh, tell that how, of the journey from india under 16 to asia cup so you were talking about 2007 you got selected in four year time you were in the asia cup 2011 camp for indian team under bob horton you played in 2010 for- only yeah in 2010 yeah in so 2010. within three years i was yeah. uh, with the senior national team and if you see that uh, this is that kid who is saying that he did not knew about professional setup you know did not knew any leagues or anything so for those three how was the journey and how quickly you got acclimatized to the you know new setup new life and the influence of bob horton and indian arrows in your life unbelievable isn't it when you think back that within 3 years i was able to join the senior national team it's, it's for me right, right now i'm thinking clear how unbelievable it is you know, you know for a kid who hasn't watched football doesn't know who van der sar is doesn't know who wayne rooney is cristiano ronaldo is uh to go from 2007 to 2010 into the senior national team setup uh and it's all because of the belief uh bob horton and uh, colin sir and tanmay sir showed in me otherwise uh, i wouldn't have made it because they saw something and they saw potential that's why uh, i made it that far and that journey i was enjoying it completely you know like in 2007 going away from home 7 8 months camp and playing the tournaments coming back doing the same thing again next year looking forward to it and it felt like that i i this is my life and this is what i want to do you know and i'm enjoying it uh and that's all because of uh, the hard work colin sir bob gotten and uh, tanmay sir did and I'm very very fortunate to also mention this uh in the podcast that I was able to play with that generation of footballers uh which is kind of uh gone now you know they are the footballers that I got to play with not a lot of footballers uh, right now in the ISL can say that you know and I was very lucky to share dressing rooms with uh, Baichung Butia Renidi Singh you know Alberto De Cuna Samir Nair and all of these legends that bilkul you know i i have i have trained with mahesh gauli yeah. how many people can say you know like these are the things that i uh, take from that experience and i'm i'm very uh, lucky to have uh, that in my you know book i think yeah so it teen saal ke andar it life changes matlab kisi ek kisi bhi ek youngster ke sath itna nahi hota hai Yeah so then you moved into uh, East Bengal again Indian football playing in Kolkata is a pressure situation you know and at very early in your career you decided to uh, play for East Bengal how did that happen you know uh, when you were playing for Indian Arrows before you know so and then you moved into East Bengal but that can you talk about that moved and then challenges you face in your life in Kolkata as a young footballer uh actually i've moved to East Bengal before i moved to Indian Arrows uh i think in 2009 i started i i played for the under 19 uh, team and you know there was some interest and i got to know that you know some clubs are trying and want to you know sign me the salgaukas the churchill uh east bengal was obviously there but east bengal ka bhi ek story hai in 2008 i went to tfa for trials right. no one knows that but i went to tfa for trials and wahan pe east bengal ke koi scout tha to unhone mere ko dekha hoga theek hai main india team ki jersey pehni hui hai ye wo training kar raha hu main and uh, after training he told my father that uh, this kid will play for east bengal 
ठीक है एट दैट टाइम आई हैव नो नॉलेज ही हैज नो नॉलेज एट ऑल ठीक है एंड वी जैसे यस यस नो नो प्रॉब्लम करके हम लोग चले जाते हैं एंड इन 2000 एंड आई थिंक 9 आह आई साइन फॉर ईस्ट बंगाल इन दिसंबर and uh, from 2010 onwards i you know became a part of the team got to play with you know by chumbutia elvito dikuna all of these players and fir us time uh, that season uh, i think uh, indian arrows was formed yeah aff decided uh, under bob sirs and uh, colin sirs decision ki jo ye gap hai under 19 se under 23 wale player hain jo inko hum log ek sath karke ek club mein dal denge i league mein Hmm. So that's when Indian Arrows was formed, and they had picked out players, and they had told the clubs which uh, had these players, if they had these players, to um, basically loan them out. Yeah. And uh, that's when uh, I was loaned out to East Bengal, apna uh, Indian Arrows from East Bengal. But before uh, getting loaned out, I I got the opportunity to play some games. I you know played the derby game played some i league games as well it was a great experience uh i think i got to learn a lot about you know playing professionally and uh, that's the story behind joining east bengal and the pressure of kolkata is different compared to any other place and the challenges actually us mein pata bhi nahi the pressure hota kya hai about uh, calcutta football if you have not experienced it before you don't know what pressure is uh, what expectations are uh, and this and that you know mujhe kya tha mujhe laga bhi club hai and uh, i'm going there because they have a goalkeeper coach tanmay sir has said that uh, it'll be better if i go to a club where there are there is a goalkeeper coach if i don't play at least i'll train i'll get good training and that was the reason behind uh, joining east bengal uh, there was no knowledge about uh, how much pressure how much expectation how the fans are and later on you know with uh, with time i learned about uh, all of those things also not many players at the early age will made this move you know to say east bengal or mumbai this move shaped him in a better person a better footballer if you see now of course yaar yeah. i mean wo jo experience tha uh, east bengal ka i think was priceless you know um, that to specially got getting to play games एट दी एज ऑफ सेवनटीन एटीन आप अगर फर्स्ट टीम के लिए स्टार्ट कर रहे हो ईस्ट बंगाल में और बेंच पे नहीं हो तो दैट मीन्स यू नो यूर डूइंग समथिंग राइट यूर डूइंग समथिंग प्रॉपरली एंड आई गोट टू डू दैट आई आई प्लेड अराउंड हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेल्व गेम्स इन द टाइम आई वॉज विद ईस्ट बंगाल एंड दैट समथिंग दैट आई कैन यू नो से विद माई चेस्ट से प्राउडली दैट आई गोट टू प्ले फॉर दैट टीम इन दैट एरा for for that long you know and uh, no it helped me get a lot of uh, knowledge and helped me get a lot of professionalism regarding how a uh, team works how a club works because it's my first club and to learn all of those things was crucial for me so you must be very happy that is sungala in the isl so matlab they are, they will be in the isl they have picked the big bit paper they have oh, submitted their bid so you're looking forward to play them Of course, uh, it's it's always nice to have uh, you know one of the biggest clubs in India in the best uh, competition in India, and uh, I think they should have been in the competition long before. But it's you know something uh, which couldn't happen for various reasons, and I'm very happy for them to uh, join the ISL journey, uh, and I wish them luck. Gurpreet, you talked about one hundred twelve games you played for East Bengal. There was a one game. Kolkata Derby, which you played, and there was two gentlemen on the commentary box, Joe Morrison and former Premier League or English top division goalkeeper Joe Baji. Did you at that time thought or had a something in your mind that somebody from commenting commentary team will approach you for you know going outside India? <laughs> and how did you react it when they approach you first time? Actually, the story behind that is. Uh... they approached me and they talked to me before the game the day before the game in training okay but uh 
क्योंकि उस टाइम हम लोग चैंपियंस लीग भी देखते थे एंड इट यूज टू कम ऑन टेन स्पोर्ट्स आई यूज टू वॉच दीज पीपल ऑन टेलीविजन एंड आई लाइक यार मतलब यू नो इट्स इट्स एन अमेजिंग शो दे यू नो डू रियली वेल इन द शो एंड स्टफ लाइक दैट and when they came to calcutta i was i think i remember i was training and i saw them walking into the pitch and i was like yaar dekhe hue hain kahi pe ye log then i remembered ki it's you know it's john burrys and uh, joe morrison and i remember i was training and bajji was behind the goal to so salt lake stadium mein we were training and bajji was standing behind the goal and uh, he was shouting uh, to joe like look at this kid look at look joe look at him he's so big he's so you know agile he's so fast i can do so much with him and stuff like that and mai jab training kar raha tha to mujhe lag raha tha ki yaar i mean uh, we kya bol rahe hain ye wo theek hai so after the training finished basically everyone left uh, joe and uh, baji were waiting and uh, that's when that's when i think uh, baji and joe discussed and baji was like you know i can do so much with this kid if i have time and opportunity um so he had a chat with me on the pitch uh, me and baji had a 10 15 minute uh, chat after the training there was no one and uh, he told me that son you are wasting your time here uh, i think you can play outside india and uh, i want to help you do that i want to get the opportunity to train you i've done it with uh, you know alhapsi and uh, i can do it with you as well so that's the first time i actually uh, thought about going outside and that's the first time i actually believed that i can do it and uh, you know chetri bhai had done it before that in kansas uh us time i think he had returned and yeah. uh, he played he was playing for mohan bagan at that time uh so yeah that was uh, the scene that happened at uh, that time before the derby and you had a long term deal with east bengal that time and then you went for a trial in premier league uh, with wigan athletic so just talk about that training stint with them how was that and you know as i told that it just 4 years ago you were the under 16 goalkeeper for your state or city team now you are playing for east bengal or played for india age group teams and now you are in the premier league club for a trial so what was the thought process behind you know what was going inside your mind during that i was honestly going with the flow i never thought where i came from until now i was uh, on cruise control it felt like and i'm just going i i didn't feel like i should take a break look back where i came from i felt like i'm on cruise control and i'm going you know where i am uh, destined to go um just a back story of uh, that time period uh, i think 2010 2011 when the asian cup finished uh, i came back played for indian arrows jo char panch game rehte the i league ke so i finished uh, the season off uh, with indian arrows after the asian cup and uh, i went back uh, to east bengal because i was i finished my loan period and uh, i had i think one year left on my previous contract which i had signed with east bengal uh, and i uh, was offered a new deal by east bengal at that time and i felt like you know they are showing faith me a uh, faith in me and uh, this is where i I want to be right now and I can get the opportunity to play for a you know better club and this and that um so I signed a new 3 year deal with East Bengal and that's when uh, Joe happened after that Joe and John Burrys happened and us time fir humne decide kiya ki jab mera season khatam hoga which was going to end in 2012 uh they will take me for a training stint to get me a taste of european football how it is how premier league is um that's when i think they contacted uh, alhapsi pulled some strings and uh, had a chat with uh, roberto martinez who was the coach at that time of wigan athletic and they were more than happy uh, unka bhi pre season abhi start ho raha tha so they were more than happy to have me there uh, and i think i went in may or something like that uh, in 2012 or oh, those were the best uh, 7 to 10 days that i spent 
ट्रेनिंग और वो मतलब सात और दस दिन में मैंने इतना कुछ सीखा यूरोपियन uh, फुटबॉल के बारे में एंड हाउ मच इंटेंसिटी एंड हाउ मच एफर्ट इट रिक्वायर्स टू बी देयर एंड इट वाज इनक्रेडिबल आई मीन ट्रेनिंग विद यू नो द लाइक्स ऑफ अलब सी एंड ट्रेनिंग अंडर रोबेटो मार्टीन इज वॉज वॉज फैबुलस एंड दैट वॉज समथिंग विच वॉज नॉट देयर इन इंडियन फुटबॉल एट दैट टाइम यू नो यू डेंट हैव द बिग नेम्स एंड द बिग स्टैंडर्ड बैक देन and uh, uske baad i think i i came back and uh, in feedback they basically told me that they would love to have me back uh, they would love to train me for 5 6 months 7 months jitna bhi time lagta hai and uh, once they have done that they would love to you know sign and then maybe loan me out to a sister club here and there so i was over the moon i was like ki bhai matlab first try mein ho gaya यू नो फर्स्ट ट्राई में आपका तुक्का लग गया बेसिकली एंड यू एंड यू फेल्ड लाइक यू नो दिस इज अ डोर व्हिच इज ओपनिंग एंडलेस पॉसिबिलिटीज बट आई फॉरगॉट दैट आई हैड अ कॉन्ट्रैक्ट विद ईस्ट बंगाल सो वी आई थिंक गॉट इन टच विद द क्लब ट्राई टू परसुएट देम बिकॉज़ विगन एंड द क्लब वाजंट रेडी टू यू नो बेसिकली uh get me out of that contract why would they i am unproven product i i have to do so much work uh to matlab bahut request ki ye wo kiya but you know you understand what the what the club wants and uh, we are contractually obligated so badi mushkil se with a heavy heart i uh, left that topic and uh, that's the day when i decided that whenever my contract finishes i would love to uh, you know Uh, look back and try again if i can go to europe so this is hypothetical question you know uh, agar abhi aapko main bolu ki you get a chance you know go back in that time when you signed that three year deal new three year deal with east bengal will you sign again of course you did not know that time but aap ab sign karte yeah. ho teen saal ke din ha huh, actually i i would have i would have done that because uh for a kid a uh, big club showing faith in you and wanting you to be the number one keeper in the club is is a huge amount of motivation yaar a huge amount of confidence and that's what i needed and that's where i saw my future at that point i didn't know that there was a world where i could you know go outside india so i i don't regret that decision it's something uh, which i was very happy with uh, until i was you know shown a bigger bigger door basically so how did you came out of this setback you know i know you said that you moved on but was it that easy to move on you know a premier league club yeah. wants you back for a six month training yeah mentally i was very frustrated uh wo matlab time period ke baad uh kyunki kafi back and forth ho raha tha aur a premier league kind of club they will not wait you know unke paas left and right uh, resources hai players unke paas bahut hai so they why would they wait and they pursue that you know it's something that they said they would be interested to do rest is upon you if you can do it or not to so, us time there was kafi uh, frustration in my head because obviously you know as a kid you feel like ki, you know this is the opportunity and this is a chance it may never come back and it didn't so you try to push hard for that and uh, make people see the bigger picture uh, it may help you know indian football in this and that uh, using every uh, single weapon that i could uh, but obviously it didn't help me mentally but uh, i think jo barej meri family ne kafi mere ko support kiya aur bola ki you know doesn't mean that you uh give up you should keep on uh, doing your job and uh, look forward uh, to the opportunity again and try to uh try to pursue that thing again who knows it may happen it may not at least you tried and that's when uh, you know i i just, uh, basically started to think about going back again so two years then you played in i league for east bengal you know I mean, yeah so for 2012 13 summer, 14 उसी टाइम पे आई एस एल आ रहा था 
a lot of yeah. indian players like sandesh and everybody who are not with the i league clubs they sign with the isl you know yeah yeah and you decided to take another risk in your life uh, to go to the country norway you know uh, not the popular league in india so mm. how you decided you know of course there was joe there was buddy to help but then because at the same time your your, your friends or your uh, other players yeah, you are basically everyone there yeah. was i know that time and uh, i know when the league was being proposed uh kafi paperwork bhi aa raha tha log dikha rahe the ki this is the league you know this is the kind of money they are paying and uh, everyone left and right is signing with the uh, reliance to be in you know that auction so pehle to auction hota tha na ha ha so it was a uh, auction system and uh, players left and right are signing you know like they want to be a part of the ISL and stuff like that and i was asked uh, multiple times to do it but i made it very clear to uh, the club and i made it very clear at that time you know with the uh, with the isl as well ki you know it's something which has hap- which hasn't happened yet so i don't know how it might go but ye uh, kuch hai ki mere paas ek shot hai it's not that uh, a club outside is ready to sign me but i have a shot at uh, at least trying the worst case scenario is uh, i can come back and uh, do it that was the worst case uh, scenario but you know जब मैं गया तो थिंग्स टर्न आउट टू बी रियली वेल सो व्हेन बहुत बरीज एंड मॉरिसन केम टू यू विद स्टेपेक अपॉर्चुनिटी सो आई एम श्योर यू माइट नॉट हैव हर्ड ऑफ द लीग एंड द क्लब बिफोर आई उस टाइम पे एक सच में एक मैं डायलॉग जरूर मारता था उस टाइम पे जब मेरे को लोग कहते थे भाई क्या कर रहे इतना बड़ा रिस्क ले रहा है ये वो तो मैं उनको कहता था भाई रिस्क तो स्पाइडरमैन भी लेता है हम तो फिर भी ह्यूमन है हां तो अब जब ये लोग सोच के मैंने वो रिस्क ले लिया तो जब ये ए मतलब ट्रायल का भी ऑफर आपके पास लेके आए होंगे आई एम श्योर यू माइट नॉट नॉट हैव हर्ड ऑफ स्टाबेक बिफोर और ये भाई आई हैड नॉट हर्ड ऑफ स्टाबेक आई हैड टू गूगल अह बेसिकली द गोलकीपर कोच एंड स्टफ लाइक दैट क्योंकि द लिंक विद स्टाबेक वाज द गोलकीपर कोच हु एक्चुअली लाइक सी आल्सो या ही वाज अ पॉइंट ऑफ कांटेक्ट एंड ही हैज बीन विद वॉलरिंगा ही हैज बीन विद स्टाबेक uh he's played for that club as well so he was the point of contact and uh us time sirf mere ko ye pata tha bhi goalkeeper coach kon hai aur wo ye team mein karwate hain training yahi tha mera knowledge us time norway aur norwegian football ke bare mein so then you went on there for a trial you know and uh, how was yeah. that trial different from the wigan trial because was there any uh, was there more pressure this time to get the uh, crack the trial as compared to begin one actually honestly there was i mean this was for me a do or die situation because i had no club and uh, this was the perfect opportunity aisa nahi tha ki iske baad matlab mera khatam hai sab kuch boria bistra bandho aur khatam football but this was the perfect opportunity to make something out of it kyunki i am a free agent uh, the club has uh, you know need to pay anything you know the transfer fee kuch nahi hai so this is the perfect opportunity for me to prove myself and every single day by i i remember that i was uh, training on on uh, artificial turf and stuff like that and mere pairon mein us time bahut chhale bhi ho rahe the blisters happening left and right both uh, feet and i remember telling my father and my mother ki you know it's really difficult i even you know have uh, some problems with my feet and stuff like that and they are like ki yaar chhod de tu wahan rehna ki aa ja wapas theek hai this is one week in but i said no like uh, I, i want to keep continuing this uh, until they say that no ki aap ab jao to us time tak main uh, training karta raha 100% aur uh, ek hafte se do hafte ho gaye koi answer nahi teen hafte ho gaye koi answer nahi soch rahe hain soch rahe hain aise karke bol rahe the and uh, i think i went in may and uh, the 
uh, window that opens in uh, Norway is in Some, August. Yeah, summer window for them. Yeah, so their one month is over there, because it's opposite. Hai. <laughs> तो मेरे ख्याल से वो ऑगस्ट की वेट कर रहे थे शायद बेसिकली सो दे हैड टाइम फ्रॉम मे टिल ऑगस्ट टू सी हाउ मच आई इम्प्रूव एंड स्टफ लाइक दैट उनको क्या था वो बाद में भी मना कर सकते थे ऐसा था उनका तो मे टिल ऑगस्ट आई ट्रेन एवरी सिंगल डे विदाउट अ ब्रेक एंड आई डेंट थिंक ऑफ एनी थिंग एल्स आई वॉज लिविंग इन अ होटल फर्स्ट बिकॉज आई थॉट आई एम गोइन बी देर फॉर सेवन टू टेन डेज ठीक है होटल से फिर किसी प्लेयर के अपार्टमेंट में मूव किया फिर कहीं क्लब के ऑफिशियल में के घर पे मूव किया क्योंकि कोई आंसर नहीं मिल रहा और हम सोच रहे हैं कि भाई बताओगे तो ही है क्योंकि उधर इंडिया में आई थिंक थिंग्स वर स्टार्टिंग अप एंड पीपल वर आस्किंग कि हैव यू मेड अप योर माइंड आई थिंक आई हैड ऑफर फ्रॉम ईस्ट बंगाल एज वेल दे वर रेडी टू डबल माई सैलरी I think at that time, whatever it was, uh, and of course, ISL was also there. Huh. At that time, before I went, uh, I I had spoken to East Bengal, and उसकी भी story है कि वो काबरा भाई को अच्छे से पता है। तो वो लोग कह रहे थे कि भी sign कर लेते हैं ये है वो है, ठीक है पैसे भी इतने अच्छे से मिल जाएंगे, you know double है। मेरी उस time BFC से भी बात हुई थी, क्योंकि this was my fallback plan basically. If nothing happens over there, I might have to come back. Uh, so I was trying to fix those options before I left for Norway. So I had spoken to these people. But uh, in Norway, once I went there, uh, because they were not giving any answer until uh, the window opened, I was not kind of giving up. I was like, "Jab tak aap answer nahi doge, the tab tak main idhar hi hoon, kyunki mera hai visa. Tension mat lo." Main to nahi jaane wala office. so uh bob bradley was the coach head yeah. coach back then yeah and uh, it was really fun to train under him uh so basically in august they told me that uh, they want to give me a three year deal and maine kuch nahi dekha bhai aankh band karke sign kar diya and it's not that something they are going to pay as in bengal or pay you know wo mujhe pata hai it happened on 15th of august How yeah. coincidental is that? So, fifteenth of August on the Independence Day of India, I was offered a three-year deal in Norway. I was like, "Bye, yellow." And thought about it once before you sign it. Before you talk to someone, you want to take a suggestion from someone. Like, no, I was just asking. I wanted to sign it, so I'm going to sign it. Basically, you've you've worked for this moment, and uh, you know, you're going to be a part of it. You've worked for this moment, and especially the club showing that much faith uh, that they are not giving me like a one year deal or a two year deal so they're giving me uh, a three year deal shows a lot of uh, faith and uh, belief in uh, in what they wanted to do with me you know as a as a prospect and uh, especially for an unproven player like me who hasn't played in europe unhone nahi dekha hai kabhi mere ko khelte hue na hi us time aap youtube kar sakte ho i league ke highlights ठीक है तो बहुत बड़ी बहुत बड़ी अपॉर्चुनिटी एंड बहुत बड़ी डील थी मेरे लिए वो एंड आई डेंट थिंक लेफ्ट राइट आई वाज वेरी हैप्पी एंड आई आई बेसिकली साइंड एंड उसके बाद भी सीन हुआ कि 2000 आई थिंक 14 इज व्हेन एशियन गेम्स वाज हैपनिंग या वेयर आई एंड द इंडियन टीम वाज अंडर विम कोरमेंस या Uh, they wanted to call you ha uh, and uh, because uh, asian games is not a fifa affiliated uh, competition i wasn't uh, allowed to go and uh, i i remember that you know the coach got uh, mad at mad at me and be like he thinks too much and this and that alex sir it's not in the hands of course the player is the club property so club can decide you know when they they need yeah. to release him or not so ye 3 mahine uh, I know it's struggle, but क्या ये तीन महीने जो आपने वहां पे किया मेंटली ऑल्सो की पीछे इंडिया में क्या हो रहा है आपके दोस्तों को कौन से कॉन्ट्रैक्ट मिल रहे हैं मतलब oh, भाई तीन महीने नहीं तीन साल या तीन साल या वॉज समथिंग विच ऑलवेज गॉट माई आई एवरी सिंगल टाइम यू नो प्लेयर्स साइनिंग दिस मच प्लेयर्स डूइंग दिस मच 
you know, it's uh, ISL is going like this, that, uh, you know, I, I was always brought to attention by people ki, you know, look at this, that, especially when I was going back uh, to India to play for the national team. So from 2015 onwards, it became a little bit more uh, amplified because I, I came back to India and players are talking about, you know, their lifestyle, their money and this and that. And uh, I am living in a basement in Norway, you know, in a single single bedroom uh, apartment. So it really felt like, you know, okay, bye. You know, it's, it's something uh, I'm missing out on. But whenever I used to leave my place and go to the club, I felt like, you know, whatever is happening is happening, but they don't have this. I So just to add, now you said I'm missing out something and I remember that's the time I approached you. That's when we started speaking, you know, you were in the basement apartment yeah. and you told me that how you're learning the cook your own food, you know, Indian dishes because you don't find any, uh-huh. not many Indian people are around. So, but you miss that, you know, you're saying you play a lifestyle in India, but something which you did, I'm not sure when the, we will have another Indian player to do it. You became the first Indian to play top division league football match. First Indian to play captain the top division club in European game. First Indian to play in UEFA Europa League. So how now next next three years the journey was when you did these uh, milestone. You know how did you prepare for that? How tough was to play in the reserve leagues? To, because goalkeeping is the one position where you don't come from bench to replace the goalkeeper until as an injury uh, situation arises. So, how tough mentally was that to play in the reserve league? Of course, people in India saying, coaches in India saying that he's not playing regular football. How you cope up with that pressure mentally? Uh, honestly, uh, I think my advantage ke liye aur meri disadvantage bhi thi ki the competition that I was facing uh, for my position was, was incredible. Mendes uh, yeah, he's he's like my brother, but uh, the competition that I was facing was too good. He, uh, as as everyone might not know, uh, is an Ivory Coast national team goalkeeper. I played think in, uh, played in World Cup also 2014. He was a part of the World Cup team. I I don't think he played, but uh, he was the second keeper. But he's played against Belgium and stuff like that. He's so, you know he's that good. Uh, and the year I went to Stabek, he had already been in Stabek for four years. And in four years, uh, he played all the games and he had brought the club uh, from second division to the top division. So basically, you're fighting uh, your place against a club legend. So to uh, be able to uh, get the place in the team on merit was the m- most difficult thing that I've uh, done in professional uh, club football and uh, it was very very fruitful jobi mere ko time mila udhar khelne ko it was incredibly fruitful and i felt like uh, i am here on merit and i deserve it that's why i am playing these uh, minutes chahe wo 5 game hai ya 10 game hai a season but i am playing on merit you know it's something that i have worked for and deserved and uh, it gave me incredible joy and on the other hand uh, yes a lot of people thought that i'm not playing games and this and that but they don't know that i was playing uh, all the reserve games over the years i've i've played around uh, i think 65 to 70 uh, reserve team games over there in stabek and that's something people don't know uh, they think i've only played 11 or 12 games so, those reserve team games, bhi hai, they were extremely difficult, very, very demanding because you go to the rare parts of Norway where you face all these tough experienced players, uh, tough teams and uh, it helped me grow a lot, you know, even that experience with the reserve team. Uh, so, with that experience, uh, then came the fruits also. You, you got the results when you played in the league game, cup games and then the Europa League games. So, how was that moment for you, know, when you, when the coach told you that you're going to start your first league game or going to start your cup game tomorrow? How did you react to that, uh, say, news when it, when, it, when it arrived to you? 
<laughs> Actually, we used to get uh, the news on the match day. So, match day, there is a meeting. So, uh, what we used to do is uh, if we are playing a game in the evening around 4 30, we used to meet up for lunch. Lunch, karke meeting, and then we used to go from there to the stadium wherever we are playing home or away. And that's when I got to know that I'm playing uh, the cup game, the first game that I played in 2014. And I was extremely happy. I didn't think I would play because, you know, uh, it's a it's a knockout round and uh, no one would want to take that kind of risk. But the, but the coach was more than happy and he said, you deserve your chance, you've worked hard enough and uh, we all see your, you know, improvement and this is your chance. Uh, so, you know, just do your thing. And I was really happy. We uh, We won the match comfortably. I got a clean sheet as well. That was the uh, one game that I played that season for the first team. Uh, after that, the next year, I played most of the cup games until, I think, uh, the fourth round, fifth round. That's a good and then the coach changed. Uh, I think Bob Bradley got a offer to join in France somewhere. And uh, I think the new coach played me in the league game as well. Yeah, he gave it the league debut. Uh -huh. uh, the league debut, that game was was fabulous. I mean, uh, after the game, I, I felt like I've done something, you know, and that kind of feeling I only got uh, when I made my national team debut. So, that time, the feeling I had was that this is something that I've worked for. This is something that people in India, players in India don't have. And that kind of feeling was uh, amazing. So, now you are talking about standards. So, I say that the keyboard warriors are saying that you know, Norway football is not a standard. You can play ISL or League. League, League, League. You are the person who played in I-League, age group leagues, ISL now. Can you tell the viewers and listeners the, how the standard of Norwegian football also, that was in 2015-16, now we have seen the standard of Norwegian football. There is a player called Haaland who is playing for Dortmund, one of the most, uh, one of the best center forward. There, that Martin Odegaard was there. I think we played against uh, him when he was, uh, he was there and was, uh, Asked to join Real Madrid, so yeah. So can you tell the people about it? How the standard of football there, and how in comparison to ISL and I League, especially? See, I, I don't want to say anything uh, bad about uh, what the no, league is, standard. It's a league, the football standard. You know, it's not the league standard we're talking about. Uh, the quality of football played was honestly way much higher uh, in Norway, in even in the reserve team. When I joined uh, in 2014, okay? uh, but when I joined ISL uh, three years back, three, four years back, the standard of football being played here has improved drastically. Okay? But has it matched the level of football played in Norway in the first division league? No. It, the intensity, uh, the skill, the Football played is is very fast and very strong. Uh, over here, I think we we do lack uh, the quality, but it's uh, we are catching up. Basically, it's, uh, but over there, a lot of things matter. Yeah, the, the infrastructure matters, the environment matters, the weather matters, and all of these players who are you know training from the age of uh, seven, eight uh, under good coaching uh, makes a huge difference in the quality of football over here. Players are getting the same level of uh, knowledge and coaching when they are 15, you know, 13, 15. So it makes a huge difference. So Joe was here a, a couple of episodes back and he told about Europa League game which you played, Europa League qualifiers, and your thumb got fractured and it still went on to play that game. Yeah. Okay. L little finger. So yeah. it still went on to play that game. It was something that, you know, uh, that's you are creating history and this is your chance and that's why you went on to play that game if somebody well, else uh, in your place the story might... behind that is i i played uh most of the games before that i played the cup games i played the league game and it was pretty much settled uh, that i 
am the first choice keeper right now. And uh, in the Europa League game, I I was called up and I was asked to play. Uh, I remember that in the twelfth or the thirteenth minute, uh, I went for a challenge up in the air with a striker uh, on a cross, and uh, instead of getting the ball, I hit him on the head, and uh, basically I broke this bone, fracture. Okay, boy. But at that time, I didn't know. When I was playing, so at that time, I played around twenty uh, minutes more with a with a broken hand. बट मेरे को पेन थोड़ा फील हो रहा था सो आई आई वॉज कम्युनिकेटिंग विद द गोल कीपर कोच आउट साइड एंड फीजे आउट साइड आई वॉज लाइक आई एम फीलिंग समथिंग दे इज अ पिंच दैट आई एम फीलिंग एंड एट वन पॉइंट आई कॉट अ क्रॉस एंड इट पेन एक्सट्रीमली लाइक मुझे लगा कि भाई बॉल नहीं पकड़ पाऊंगा अगर कोई शूट मारेगा एनी मिनट इट कैन हैपन एंड आई वुड बी एबल टू पुट माई हैंड इन बिकॉज इट्स दैट पेनफुल so it it was a very very difficult decision for me because i was thinking let's stretch it till half time uh the injury happened in 5, 13 or 15 minute and uh, i think in 30th or 35th minute i just uh, rose my hand and i was like i sat down and i was like i can't carry on like this if i make a huge mistake you know the team will you have to think about the team also of course yaar yeah, agar कोई शूट मारेगा एंड मैं हाथ नहीं डाल पाऊंगा एंड एज अ गोल कीपर यू हैव टू सेव द बॉल एंड इफ आई कैन सेव द बॉल देन बेसिकली योर पुटिंग योर टीम इन हार्म्स वे दैट यू इन अवे गेम इन द यूरोपा लीग सो वो सब थिंकिंग मेरे को वो 15 20 मिनट में हुई बट आई वाज सो हैप्पी दैट आई गॉट ऑफ द पिच एंड आई वाज स्टिल स्माइलिंग बिकॉज़ आई गॉट टू डू समथिंग व्हिच नो वन हैज सो ये आप बता रहे थे कि यहाँ पे आप नंबर वन बन चुके थे यू आर प्लेइंग लीग गेम यू प्लेइंग कप गेम यू प्लेइंग यूरोपा लीग डू यू फील दैट दिस इंजरी केम एट द वेरी रॉन्ग टाइम एट योर करियर यू नो एंड ऑफ कोर्स यू आर दी ऑन दी लेटर पार्ट ऑफ योर कॉन्ट्रैक्ट आल्सो एंड आई दैट टाइम आई वॉज टोल्ड बाय फ्रॉम लोकल नॉर्वेजन जर्नलिस्ट एंड एजियन दैट अदर नॉर्वेजन क्लब आर मॉनिटरिंग यू बिकॉज ऑफकोर्स यू आर यू नो एट द एंड ऑफ योर कॉन्ट्रैक्ट सो डू यू फील दैट इंजरी केम एट द रॉन्ग टाइम of course yeah injuries don't have a right time at all uh yeah it was a huge uh, disappointment for me because jitna bhi hard work karke maine wo position gain ki thi wo fir ground zero pe aa gaya tha uh but i i didn't give up uh i had a motivation so basically i had motivations uh, that i was looking forward to when the season before that finished and we got to know that we have qualified for the europa league and we'll be playing that game in uh, june so my motivation became that game ki i want to play that game no matter what if i don't play any other game that's fine i want to play that game and that happened once i got injured uh, i think uh, puerto rico ke sath match tha september mein mm. so i got injured in on 31st june and uh, we were playing puerto rico i think 14 15 september and wo meri motivation ban gaya tha ki main match nahi miss kar sakta kyunki agar main match miss karunga to mere ko mentally bahut effect karega ki yaar you you're missing out on opportunities even with the national team where you're supposed to play and uh, yeah it, it's something that i did even with pain because it my hand didn't uh, heal properly but uh, you know that game i got to captain the indian team so things work out you know for you uh, very well yeah so before we wrap up this tabak part so can you tell something about that could this stint at tabak could have lasted longer or could have stay in norway lasted longer you know and uh, do you have any regret of those 3 years during that something which you could have done differently <laughs> regret is the only regret that i have is uh, why didn't i go earlier that's the only keep, regret I keep on telling me this ha uh, but uh then i think back ki jo jo cheeze mere ko karne ko mili you know not a lot of people have done it so that makes me forget the regret uh but yeah i mean uh, uske baad uh, i think i had one and a half year left uh, after my injury and uh, basically when the new season started uh 
we already had changed the coach after that Europa League game itself. And uh, the new coach wanted the experience uh, and, the, you know, game time from Monday, Sayoba. Because he liked the experience and he's Tabik uh, legend and that, uh, which is, you know, nothing wrong in that. But Muje ek time pe aise laga ki I'm not uh, being given the fair chance uh, that I deserve, even with all the hard work that I'm putting in. Uh, putting me in uh, games where I, I think I should not be playing. Malab ek hota ki you put a keeper, when you put a keeper, you need to make sure that you put him in the right time with the rhythm. अगर आप मतलब आज खिला रहे हो और कल नहीं खिला रहे हो फिर उसके बाद फिर परसों खिला रहे हो तो उसमें क्या है भी कोई रिदम नहीं है तो आई फेल लाइक कि माय अपॉर्चुनिटीज आर कमिंग वेरी फेयरली एंड आई वांट गेम टाइम सो दैट्स व्हेन इन 2017 समर आई वाज ट्राइंग टू लुक फॉर अपॉर्चुनिटीज बिकॉज देर वॉज इंटरेस्ट शोन बाई अ क्लब इन पोर्चुगल एंड आई वॉज लाइक यू नो मोर देन हैप्पी टू ट्राई टू परसू दैट and uh, my contract with stabic was ending and i had no news about you know any extension plus i didn't want to be in stabic and not play you know i was at that point in my career ki mujhe laga ki agar mere ko stabic mein rehna hai to i should play and yes. if uh, they didn't want to do that then i i thought i'm wasting my time because i had grown enough uh, in ability and in experience कि आई थॉट लाइक वो क्लब में मैं उससे ज्यादा अभी और नहीं इम्प्रूव कर सकता और एशिया कप भी आ रहा था तो यू नो यू नीड टू प्ले एंड मेक शो दैट यू आर प्लेइंग रेगुलरली दो थिंग्स वर इन माइंड एज वेल बट मेन यही था कि अगर यहाँ से जाना है कहीं पे तो खेलना है बिकॉज दैट्स द थिंग यू वॉन्ट uh to have in your bag before you reach uh, dubai yeah so i am sure jitne bhi clubs us time pe india mein the isl i league mein they would have wanted to sign you na and you also t- told about it that in 2014 bangalore wanted to sign you back in 2014 only when you going for a uh, trial so then how bangalore fc happened and why you fe- felt that this is the move for you you know which you have to take back with which have to take Uh, मुझे पता नहीं आपको जो ने बताया होगा कि नहीं बट दे स्टोरी टू इट एज वेल एज आई सेड वी वर लुकिंग फॉरवर्ड टू टॉक टू दिस पोर्चुगीज के साथ uh, हमारी बात हो रही थी एंड द टॉक्स वर गोइंग वेरी वेल एंड स्टफ लाइक दैट नॉट टू फॉरगेट इन ऑगस्ट इन नॉर्वे द विंडो इज ओनली वन मंथ एंड वी स्टार्टेड टू टॉक when the window opened and well the club is happy joe is in portugal and uh, talking uh, they said ki we can't sign you right now in august but we would you know love to have you next season uh, in august to agar aap apna bandobast kar sakte ho abhi se leke agle season tak ek saal ka ha ek season ka basically theek hai kyunki hamare paas abhi teen keeper already hain तो नेक्स्ट ईयर वन ऑफ द कीपर्स कॉन्ट्रैक्ट इज फिनिशिंग एंड वी वुड साइन यू एंड वी वर लाइक ओके फाइन नो प्रॉब्लम एंड दैट्स व्हेन वी स्टार्टेड टू स्पीक टू द आईएसएल क्लब्स दैट्स व्हेन वी हैड राउंडेड अप ऑन बीएफसी बिकॉज बीएफसी एट दैट टाइम वाज आल्सो गोइंग टू प्ले द एफसी कंपटीशन या तो मेरे लिए क्लियर ऑप्शन बन गया था कि यार बीएफसी डेफिनेटली द बेस्ट क्लब इन इंडिया एंड आल्सो दे आर प्लेइंग कॉन्टिनेंटल कंपटीशन तो मेरे लिए डजेंट मेक एनी सेंस टू बेसिकली राइट नाउ गो एनीवेयर एल्स बिकॉज आई वांट टू प्ले एट दैट लेवल एंड एशियन फुटबॉल ऑफ कोर्स इज मच मोर हाई लेवल देन वॉट वी गेट टू प्ले डोमेस्टिकली तो वी हैड ऑलरेडी सॉर्टेड दैट आउट Uh, but the problem arose uh, with the portuguese club when you know uh, things didn't happen at the crunch time so deadline day that uh, we couldn't uh, get back and forth contracts nahi ready hue ye nahi hua wo nahi hua paperwork idhar udhar hai to uske chakkar mein wo bhi deal chalegi and we thought no problem we'll go with bfc 
and uh, next year if something comes uh, then we can reconsider otherwise uh, right now the focus is to go back to bangalore and uh, play most of the games try to play as much as i can because that was something uh, i didn't uh, want to miss out on in in my career at that stage you know aap uh, agar 25 and 24 and you want to be the number one uh, for your country and stuff like that you have to play games and uh, bfc was uh, you know the no- natural option for me just to put things into perspective for the listeners and viewers that uh, the talks around that move was that that gurpreet will sign for that portuguese club and that portuguese club was supposed to loan gurpreet to bangalore fc for one season and because the time was so less to complete the transfer for amstar back to portuguese club and then to portuguese club to bangalore uh, gurpreet and his camp decided to sign for bangalore fc so then coming back to india what was the major difference you felt you know you left india in 2014 4 years down the line coming and back playing club football again what are the one major difference you felt <laughs> knockout stages that's uh, the biggest uh, hurdle that that was there for me uh, mentally to you know, get over that because us time hum log itne matlab acche se ja rahe the in the league stages and everything and i was enjoying myself you know playing and uh, roka we have uh, talented players like eric miku dimas you know juan and all of these players and we have good indian players as well we were enjoying our football and i was enjoying myself in bangalore as well uh, but you know that was the only hurdle the playing knockout football at uh, the crunch uh, stage of the league because you know you're the best in the league you know you're 40 points 10 points ahead the second place and you feel like you have already matlab jeet gaye so that's uh, that's when uh, i think for me it was difficult to accept uh, that and obviously the defeat you know then in the final and what about the quality of infrastructure and quality of football which changed in 4 years time when you last with east bengal in 2013 honestly honestly it was really good really good i mean jo cheez us time indian football mein missing thi jab main gaya tha uh that had uh, you know uh, filled up matlab wo cheez theek ho gayi thi football had become a product which was uh, in most most of the homes it was available for people in india to watch and interact with that's what uh, was very good about you know uh, football when it started the isl when it started and by the time i joined honestly like the infrastructure grounds wagera you know all of that everything uh, was getting better yeah i mean jaise main pehle norway se bhi main follow karta tha to us time agar aap ground conditions dekho to kahan se mitti ud rahi hai kahi se ground khul raha hai ye wo so it was not a good sight to see and uh, by the time i joined fortunately all of that was fixed and it was good to see that you know the league is growing in all aspects you know not just uh, you know viewership wise but matlab फाउंडेशन से काफी अच्छी हो रही है काफी अच्छे रूल्स एंड रेगुलेशन एंड इंटेग्रिटी इज बीइंग बिल्ट फॉर द लीग यू वर्क विद टू बेंगलुरु एफसी मैनेजर टिल नाउ अल्बर्ट रोका एंड कार्लस कोडट इज देयर एनी डिफरेंस बिटवीन फिलॉसफी ऑफ बोथ दीस मैन आई थिंक आई डोंट फील एनी मेजर डिफरेंस बट डिड यू फील दैट एनी डिफरेंस बिटवीन द फिलॉसफी ऑफ बोथ दीस कोचेस अह dono ki same philosophy hai almost uh, uh, the kind of football that we want to play is uh, the same but i think uh, with uh, carles it's it's a bit more flexible i mean at times tactically we are uh, aware of the other team and we might take a decision of changing our uh, approach to the game or tactic to the game with uh, i think रोका इट वॉज इन लाइक हमारा जो सिस्टम है हमारा ही है अगर कोई आएगा आएगा नहीं आएगा तो नहीं आएगा बट विद कार्लिस आई थिंक इट्स बिट मोर फ्लेक्सिबल इन दैट टर्म्स सो नाउ एल्बर्ट रोका इज इन बार्सिलोटाटी 
okay okay very happy very happy for him yeah uh, so you talked about the isl final which you lost you know and uh, then uh, afc cup also is not went well for bangalore fc uh, so do you feel that for bank bangalore fc need to get that afc success again of course they are the first indian club to final in the final of the afc cup with now champions league spot in isl do you think upcoming season it is very important for bangalore to get that champions league spot do you think that should be the aim for the club see that has been the aim of the club since uh, the club was formed uh, or that is something which is very attractive for any player not just me uh, that kind of aim to do well not only in india but in asia and uh, bfc ne aisa standard set kiya ki agar aap semi final final mein bhi haar jaoge to aise lagta hai ki yaar nahi hona chahiye tha ki you are a club who wins and uh, and i think it's huge uh, honor for any player to be a part of this kind of system and mai matlab koi club ko aise nahi bolna chahta but i feel like bfc has the potential and has the desire to you know do well in asia and uh, i would love to be a part of you know asian football again with bfc and hopefully we can uh, you know uh take a go at the champions league slot and agar ho jata hai touch wood to wahan se to incredibly matlab roz gym jaunga main to extra push ups hain just to play in champions league bilkul champions league ke naam pe 10 aur abhi har cheez 10 aur abhi kya europa league ke naam se maarte ho extra push ups wagera jo khel chuke ho ab to matlab jaise gajni nahi hai pull up maarta hai roz waise gajni wale pull up chal rahe hain Okay, okay. Of course, physically also you have become stronger compared to the lanky Gurpreet Singh Sandhu, which we saw in 2011. Right. Before, like three ka bolte the, abhi thoda sa muscle muscle aage hai hand pe. So let's now talk about national team. You were part of the setup since 2011 or 2010, if I remember. And you also took. Yeah. Can't believe. But your debut came very late. So can you tell about something about your uh, f- uh, Indian debut when you made and how was that feeling to play for India? Uh, I think 2010, like you said, I joined the national team, and uh, as I told you before, that I was in cruise control. Okay, I wasn't looking left, right, where I am. And when I joined the national team, I felt like I have to play. Okay, you have legends like uh, Subrat Paul. and uh, plays like subhashish bhai or indra bhai waiting in line you know uh, for their shot and here i am in training and i feel like i have to play i should play uh, asian cup hum log gaye hain 2011 mein and i feel like you know i want to play this game and this and that so the desire to play for the national team has been there since day one since the day i joined camp and every single day i was uh, waiting for that moment uh it took me five long years uh to get that and uh, in 2015 uh finally i got my opportunity against uh, iran you know not the most of uh, easiest games to you know do your debut but uh, i was ready and i was ready to go i was really happy that it's against iran and uh, i can finally show that you know i am uh, you know a capable option and i want to play for the country and i want to wear the uh, number one jersey uh, for this country and it was you know amazing uh, amazing journey since then and then you went on to play asia cup uh, also the part of the winning team against thailand uh, i think india never won any game in the asia cup how was the preparation to asia cup performance and during the qualification round also india defeated myanmar lots of pakistan uh, i feel remember and the uh, build up of the game build up of the tournament was very good for us india was undefeated for 13 games if i remember yeah. correctly our yeah. fifa ranking was nearly you know on the high when we started it was 172 something and uh, at one point we were 98 98 96 96 96, 96. yeah So, so how, how yeah, was that period you know of the 3 years since you made 3 uh, or 4 years since you made a debut uh, for india against iran oh the journey the journey was uh, amazing i mean 
uh, when I started to play for the national team, I felt like there is not just me, but there were so many new faces. You felt like, you know, there's a team building around, you know, aapke paas Sandesh Jingan aa hai. you have JJ, you have, you know, all of these players coming up, Udanta hai. So we felt like, you know, there is a new fresh breeze of uh, players at that point when we played Iran. Because before that, uh, I think we were figuring it out. Uh, who is going to play? Who is going to be the core team? Uh, these are the players who will, uh, you know, play and lead us uh, through the qualifiers. And at that point, we felt like, you know, uh, this is what it is. And uh, we can go very far because we are young and we have a lot of time on our hands. And if we keep working collectively and sabka ek aim hai, so we can do a lot of things. Uh, so basically the setup that we had, all of the players had the same kind of mentality uh, and it was such a pleasure to be a part of that uh, setup uh, in Asian Cup. Se pehle. And the journey was amazing. You know, we, we played games, uh, we grind out results, you know, away from home. Uh, as he said, being unbeaten for 13 games, it's not easy on... Uh, international uh, football and I, I hope uh, we are able to achieve the same rhythm again. So let's talk about Stephen Constein. Uh, he was here also in London no, last, last episode. <laughs> I am sure you might have heard that episode. Yeah, yeah. So what do you think about him? People say he's a demanding coach. Uh, he demands from his player that you know they need to put a performance shift up and down of the pitch. So can you tell something about him i of course if a coach is demanding it is it's very good because you're wanting the best out of uh, the place and you're absolutely right that uh, coach steven was uh, was like that and he wanted the best out of his place because he used to say this one thing uh, after a good result basically uh, i remember against kyrgyzstan when we played at home and we won won it um, he came in the dressing room and he said that, uh, guys, you can't drop your level now. I see what you guys are capable of and I can see what level you can reach. Uh, so I don't want anything less than what you have just put out on the pitch. So the desire and that push uh, was there to do uh, the same kind of performance uh, that we had just put was uh, was something very nice ki aapka jo matlab coach hai aapse bahut demand kar raha hai agar koi aap, aapko bolega apne comfort zone mein raho to that's something which uh, i i don't think is a good idea but coach was very good at that and uh, i enjoyed a lot of uh, football under him and now we have a new coach uh, igor stimak a different philosophy compared to uh, stephen uh, so, how is the life under him and how is the preparation to the game, training session are different as compared to Stephen? I think uh, the desire and uh, the fight to make players perform up to the mark is the same, is, is really good. But the kind of football like you mentioned is, uh, is different and uh, I think it's the kind of football that most of the Indian players in the team also love to play. Uh, passing out from the back and trying to, you know, play more football, have some possession. It's something uh, which I think we can do. Uh, and we have good, talented players as well in our team. You know, you have the Thapa, you have the Sahals, you have all these players who can uh, comfortably hold the ball. So, to have that uh, in our team, that dynamic, that uh, versatility in the team is really good. And uh, the journey is start hui hai. <laughs> So hopefully, uh, with time, we'll get better. Obviously, with COVID, uh, we, we can't do anything, you know, with this. Uh, we haven't trained together for quite a while. And I'm pretty sure by the time we do, it's going to be one year. So it'll, it'll be a long time, but I'm really excited and uh, looking forward to, you know, train with uh, Coach Stimak and the boys. So... Throughout the period, you know, 10 years now, you have completed more than 10 years on the national team setup. There has been a very good competition for that one goalkeeping spot. We have seen Subroto Paul, Karanjit Singh, Amind, uh, Arindam, Shobashish, now currently Aminder Singh. 
there's so many goalkeepers around who are performing well you know and for that one goalkeeping spot how do you feel about this competition and how this help you or other goalkeepers to push themselves and improve their performance of course yeah i mean uh, without any of them uh, i can't do well and without me they can't do well and that's how goalkeepers uh, work that's how the environment is uh, i honestly have uh, seen the other side of it i have waited 5 years for my chance i even in club football in norway i was uh, on the bench a lot so i know how it feels and uh, it is something which you can either take take it badly or either take it as an opportunity it basically uh, takes you two ways it's either a place where it can make you way much better or it can just completely you know put you out of uh, Out, out of the track that you own, and uh, I think कि जो हमारा goalkeepers का competition है, it's uh, it's so healthy that it hasn't been like this for a long time. You know, you having uh, Amrinder uh, in the setup, having Vishal Kaith, having uh, you know Rainesh. We have Deeraj coming in. Nawaz is there. Prab Sukhan is there. All of these keepers are so talented. You know, uh, it's it's uh, good sight to see कि we as a nation are producing you know decent goalkeepers who who can you know do well and uh, i'm i'm not uh, how you say that uh, any malice but i think i'm very uh, open to their success i'm i'm very happy to hear about their successes and i i just you know wish them luck and uh, ask them to push me in training because i'm going to push them that's a open challenge so as you said we have so many goalkeepers but there is a one department uh, which india is struggling for a while now to produce players is the center forwards or striker you can say do you think we, we as a footballing nation or as a country need to do better to at least produce more goal scorer because you know we are so dependent on sunil bhai or say jj to score goals we need to produce more goal scorers or you guys are not giving them chance to score goal in the training maybe they are goalkeeper are so good no yaar it's it's something that uh, should come naturally from the system it's not that we can't produce uh, strikers it's i think there are enough options in our setup in our leagues in our uh, you know systems in the academies and stuff like that ki jab time aata hai when when the league comes when the cup comes when all the competition come how many of them are playing football you know how many they are definitely training every single day but to be out on the pitch and to be able to have that opportunity to look at the goal and trying to score is something which i don't think is uh, available to every single you know uh, striker from the national team from the national team not away from the national league but from the national team so when you have that kind of thing going on uh, obviously it's it's something that uh, harms uh, the creativity of the strikers when they come to the national team and uh, it's it's something that can be you know hopefully fixed uh, it's not a department which i think we need to work on uh, we have talented players it's just uh, the confidence to give them the opportunity uh, to give uh, them to score and to be able to look at the goal and be like you are hit or miss you know Chetri Bhai has been doing it because he's been playing consistently for so many years uh, club football. That's why he does, uh, you know, score or miss or whatever. At least he does it. Uh, same with JJ. Same with uh, all the other players. So the more the opportunities, the more the scope you have to hit or miss. That's the message I can give. And talking about goalkeepers worldwide, the goalkeeper. Uh... the way goalkeeper are playing are changed now there are modern day demands you have to play from back there is no no more long goal kicks you know you have to pass shot mandatory nahi hai marzi hai but aapne kaise iska adjust kiya you know aapne bhi different different setup mein khela now you playing under spanish coach to kaise aap jaise keh rahe the you know it is not natural for say indian Us- goalkeepers to start play from back I think nowadays it's natural. You look at Nawaz, you look at uh, 
Ranish and all these keepers, you look at Amrinda, all of these guys are good at it. You know, it's something that you just have to learn. It's something that uh, came to international football. Sabi jaga football me it came uh, and it's something that is a bonus and a plus point to have. And I think it's really important uh, right now because it gives you that uh, edge and that uh, plus skill that you can use in the in the game. And I honestly enjoy uh, the passing type of football. I know it's very risky. I don't like to take risks, but uh, I enjoy it. Uh, if I have an opportunity to pass or kick, uh, if the player is free, I would pass. If I have to kick, I love kicking. I love to find Sunil Chetri, as everyone knows. Uh, but it's it's a kind of uh, football that I think uh, is the future, and uh, I'm I'm pretty sure that goalkeepers will not be left out uh, with that system. Okay. So after you know we talked about your journey from your school to Indian team to European football. Recently, only I think last year. you uh, got arjuna award how was that feeling you know that uh, to getting that arjuna award to be the top athlete in india it was uh, it was a very humble moment uh, honestly the experience itself is uh, very special jab tak aap udhar pahunchte nahi ho jab tak aap rehearsal nahi karte ho jab tak aap wo coat nahi pehante ho you don't get the feeling but when you do then you feel like okay something is happening you know you go to the rashtrapati bhavan you might you know see big people there uh, you will meet the president all of this uh, is very very special and uh, i think as players we are just to uh, you know focus to realize this but it's a very important and uh, special moment for the families of uh, the players and i think for my family it was a really special moment uh for my parents and uh, and my loved ones who were there uh, to experience it and so you got arjun award so what are the say goals of future objective for gopu singh sandhu going ahead not get an arjun award again right ne over all as a i think as as a player uh jaise jaise aap you know you get experience and you get mature your goals become different uh, my goal before was to do something else ye 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 but now with time i've realized my goal is to become consistent at what i do if i'm uh, performing at a level which i've done the past year i want to at least match it if not surpass it you know like that's the only aim that i have right now professionally and if that opens doors and opportunities here and there and Uh, makes us play the AFC competition final, or uh, gets us to the Champions League spot, gets us a trophy. This and that, it's something which comes with it as a bonus. But as a player, as a professional, I think it's important to have uh, that consistency. Talking about that one specific performance, uh, there was a match against Qatar, which India drawn Asian champion. So can you tell like us? They have played it, I think. No, no, I did, I did. Uh, so, how was that experience? You know, to uh, the historic draw for Indian football. Can you tell something about it? Oh, it, it's such a special game. Uh, it still uh, makes me smile thinking about it uh, because we are basically playing against the odds. Uh, you know, you don't have the best player on the pitch from the national side, and uh, everyone kind of gives hope. gives away hope and uh, they think oh yeah best team they might get bashed you know 3 nil 4 nil 5 nil jo bhi hai uh, and to be able to get out of the pitch with a point was uh, absolutely amazing uh, during the game you do, you don't think about it uh, in the game you're just thinking about what do you have to do next how do you prevent from doing a mistake which can lead to an opportunity for a very talented side like qatar and that's what we had discussed uh, before the game ki dar nahi hona chahiye kyunki agle qatar hai no problem the ground is good the atmosphere is good the pitch is good stadium is good it's a good opportunity to uh, perform to your best there is no excuse right now 
कि आप परफॉर्म क्यों नहीं कर सकते आपके पास वर्ल्ड क्लास फैसिलिटीज मिल रही हैं अच्छी टीम मिल रही है खेलने के अगेंस्ट तो दे शुडन बी एनी एक्सक्यूज जस्ट गो आउट देर एंड ट्राई टू नॉट मेक एनी मिस्टेक्स एंड डू योर जॉब एंड दैट्स वॉट आई थिंक एवरी सिंगल पर्सन इन दैट लाइन अप एंड द पीपल हु केम फ्रॉम द बेंच डेट एंड यू नो वी वर एबल टू गेट अ रिजल्ट आउट ऑफ दैट गेम talking about result you also got a clean sheet i think uh, which is also a historic i was getting a lot of stick before that that i haven't got a clean sheet in 2019 so i had to make sure it was a special one i have been proving the critics wrong for very very long time now so as we know we have seen your instagram stories you were in australia with your family now in the training there so what is the importance of family for you you know i'm just just telling you also that it was good quality time to spend with family oh i think uh, with quarantine i'm pretty sure most of us uh, now know the value of family time especially uh, as professionals and as footballers you don't get enough of it uh, because you're so busy with your schedule you're traveling you're playing and this and that you know you're training every single day so you miss out on a lot of things you miss out on birthdays you know you miss out on anniversaries and this and that you miss out on helping your family doing house chores you know chahe jhadu ho pocha ho bartan saaf karne ho jo bhi cheeze ho you know all of these things are a part of being a family and uh, to get to do that was was really amazing it also kind of gives you an idea of how life might be without football you know and it's it's not a very nice uh, feeling honestly family time is good but uh, life without football is uh, for me no life you know i love uh, playing and i love being part of uh, the game and i hope uh, you know after all this we can happily uh, continue what you learned during the uh, this lockdown time have you learned something household some household work especially uh grass kaise kaatna hai machine ke sath uh, i learned and uh, i learned how to make perfect palak paneer next time <laughs> hopefully when you are meeting so you can make yeah <laughs> definitely so we have just last one round remaining which is rapid fire before we move into rapid fire this is a special question for me there are two questions first i will ask you to select a five a side a goalkeeping team from world football who will be your five a side goalkeeper according to their positions so just select five goalkeepers on the different different position for a five a side match <sighs> five goalkeepers definitely ter stegen on goal nahi 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 why have him on goal so who will have him on goal in goal i think i would have uh, oblak okay and uh, have ter stegen up front with uh, edison okay. midfield i would have uh, alison and uh, right now who else is there manuel noyer for forward position ah uh, yeah noyer noyer definitely noyer i think how many is there if you will be the coach noyer will be happy because he wants to play that midfield or forward position for very long now oh yes, yeah it's five yeah good five side okay so and then of course uh, this was not something which i had uh, list down on my notes to ask but then while speaking to you during this podcast i figured it out that you played with lots of quality indian players and we uh, also asked stephen same question that he picked this combined india 11 from both these team and of course he picked you as a goalkeeper so now i will ask you same question you have to pick your best indian 11 uh, during the time uh, you played 2010 to 2020 now ne- nearly a decade so if you have to pick 11 players according to position who will be your players of course you can pick yourself as a goalkeeper also if you want so we'll start with the goalkeeper the goalkeeper so you want me to pick from 2010 till 2020, 2020. best in players uh, with whom best you played yeah with whom you played national team or even club football that's fine played or played against are in the setup of indian players who are playing around so you pick uh, the according to what the best indian 11 which can include you in last decade so goalkeeper no i wouldn't pick myself i would pick amrinder in goal uh sandesh as a center back with mahesh kauli right back right back i would pick 
Uh, who else? Uh, Smir Naik has been there. Nishu has Bangalore. Nishu is a left back. Uh, I would pick Rahul Beke. Left back. Right. Left back. Uh, who is the best left back here? Who was the best left back? Oh, Markasam. Uh, you remember who was the left back in the national team 2011? Uh, I think it's. Uh, Noeba Singh or Noeba Singh, if I remember correctly. Noeba Singh, no, 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 no. Uh, Let me check. Uh, Stephen picked, by the way, uh, Shubhashi's boost as a left back uh, for his all time India 11. Yeah, my name is Bulga, bye, guy. One second, though, I will check and tell you that there is no issue. Deepa Mandal is there. Yeah. Deepa Mandal is there. Um, Nishu is there. Uh, Subhashish is also there. Subhashish is there. Prabir Das, the right back, or your left back? Left back, then Jerry, hai, Chennai FC. Uh, that's one. Also, okay. I think uh, Manju was also there, right? Uh, in the 2011 edition. Left back, Nikhil. Yeah, Manipur Singh. Govind Singh. Govind Singh. Nee, 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 nee. He played in Manchukuo. I will just check, just check, checking the score. Sur, uh, Surkumar Singh. Ah, Surkumar bhai. Okay, <laughs> so Surkumar Singh is a left back. And uh, what formation you will choose? Four three three or four two four four two? Uh, I would pick four four two. So who will be your uh, centre midfield first two players? I think here is the you need to make tough choices. Uh, center midfield, right? Uh, yeah. I would pick. Lots of options. Both option here. Climax Lawrence. Climax Lawrence. And uh, second? One, the second I would pick is uh, but the same type of player ho gaya, Thapa. not a not, not a bad player. Lawrence is uh, same type of player no Nein. yeah but they can play together I think the quality they have Thapa. okay right midfield uh, right winger on the Renedi Singh then he played on left side mostly. Stephen Dyes was there on the right. Yeah, uh, Stephen right foot. Yeah, Udanta Singh. Udanta hai. Or one right winger Anthony Pereira tha. Who left and, pe tha? Yeah, uh, Anthony Pereira tha. Yeah, on left or right. Apke Clifford Miranda tha. No, nee, Clifford by left footer. Hai. But I think he played on right. Uh, if you uh, talk about yeah. 2012 Nehru Cup. Yeah. Right midfielder, I would say by Steven Dias. Okay. Left midfielder? He has. Left Cross midfielder? Renidi? Uh, left midfielder. Abhi modern football mein kaun hai apna? Aapke is time pe Chante Ashiki khelna tha. Ashiki khelna tha. Left mein I would put Udanta. Okay. I think, I personally feel that he should be playing that inside forward role with his right foot. So. That will make him score more goals. But then he can play. No, but on left at least he can play, na? Who? Udanta. A left midfielder. Ha, so he can come as an inside forward, right, to score goals from that's, his right foot. That's what I said. Left midfielder. Yeah. So now two forwards, I think, easy choice. But still, let's do the forward. Uh, Sunil Chetri, definitely. Sunil Chetri and uh, Baichung Butia. Yeah, uh, I think that was a good 11. So we'll put it on our graphic and we'll send to you once we do the yeah. articles and all. So now let's move towards rapid fire. So you have to tell me uh, first thing which comes to your mind after I, I ask the question. Uh, biggest influence. Yeah. yeah, are you ready? Yeah. Biggest influence growing up. 
In football, I would say Van der Sar and Subroto Paul. In your life? My parents. If I was not a goalkeeper, I would be? Police officer. Best save I have made is? Without diving. Which one? <laughs> uh i think against pune fc uh in the indian super league in the first season in the pune semi final pune city uh, pune city in the first season at home semi final uh favorite music i know the answer but still punjabi of course uh, and you told me inspirational foreign goalkeeper vendasa biggest lesson uh, learned abroad while you were in norway uh how to be independent favorite cuisine indian food kuch bhi sab chalta hai shahi paneer aajkal to palak paneer bhi kha rahe ho aap ha shahi paneer shahi paneer secret to your fitness now how did you got this dole and all food people say that you need to on diet you are saying on food yeah food food Okay, so one piece of advice for Indian players, young Indian players coming up, and especially who wants to move abroad, what will we give? What advice? Call me. <laughs> I think one advice which 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 you gave me, you know, while we were talking throughout these year, that these players need to move out early in their life, not when they are twenty two or twenty three. They need to move when they are eighteen or nineteen. So also, I'll I'll brush up on that. Uh, what I can say is. try to not have huge expectations when you are trying to pursue going outside uh yes you might be able to get good money in the ISL and the I league but outside you need to start from scratch start from zero uh whatever you thinking that you might get you might not get you might get half of it uh money is and uh, never should be an obstacle if you want to go outside and start as a youngster as a teenager go out there to gain experience uh be on the bench do the training sessions with the quality players uh and that will uh make you a better player if you are putting your heart into it i think that was a very good advice for young indian players and i personally believe that uh, our players need to move out early as early as possible of course they can't move out when they are under 18 but i think if they are looking to move out they should move out when they are 18 and 19 that's the age when any european club will take up you are at the age of 13 yeah but sadly due to european rules the Euro- uh, european club will sign us when they are 13 but of course you can go for training and all like uh, you went to begin uh, yeah yeah so we, before we conclude i just want to ask you know gurupreet singh do whatever he got in life he gets everything after getting you know after going through the struggle especially talk about national team where you that european club then that getting the first uh, cap for the european club in the, uh, in the cup and the league and the europa league Asia, national team sport also and playing in asia cup so do you feel that life sometimes you speak to yourself on the mirror you talk about life you have not fair to me so actually it's very fair to me uh, the things that i've uh got to do and the opportunities uh, that have you know got is something which uh, not every single person uh got and i'm very fortunate and uh, i don't think there would be any other way i would do it i don't want things to be given to me in a plate uh i love to work for it and work hard for it because it makes doing the thing uh, very fruitful because it shows me how valuable uh, the thing is uh, be it you know playing for the country or playing for the club and playing all those european league games uh, and uh, i think uh, it's it's uh, the only way because there shouldn't be a shortcut you know the road uh, you need to take the ladder to success as they say you can't take the elevator any message to your fans club fans national team fans before we wrap this up uh, guys please sit tight uh, it's a very tough time right now uh, please 
stay at home with your loved ones if you can and if your work allows if not then please go out with a mask and uh, please don't forget to wash your hands uh, please be safe and do watch uh, the isl you know through your phone through your ipad and uh, laptop if you can because uh, this season might be you know in closed doors but hopefully uh, we see you soon in the stands uh, once things get back to normal so take care till then a big thank you to gurupreet for joining us today it was a fantastic experience for myself also to talk to you about everything you have done in your life don't forget you can listen to our all episode of the beyond the score podcast at your leisure on spotify itunes jio savan gana and all other major platform you can also watch them in the video form on our youtube channel khelna tv until next time this is your host asish negi signing off thank you